Well, this was very unexpected. Uh, that's bullshit. Actually, we knew this would be happening. Now, I did not know, though, uh, it would be happening this soon. Uh, actually, we got a quite important information relating to Concord. This came from the official PlayStation blog. And honestly, I did not expect it to be this soon. So, <laughs> an important update on Concord. Concord fans, we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PlayStation 5 and PC. And want to thank everyone who has joined the journey aboard the North Star. Your support and the passionate community that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. However, while many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognized that other aspect of the game and our initial launch didn't land the way we'd intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September the 6th, 2024 and explore options including those that will better reach our players. My goodness, that's literally in three days. <laughs> Alright, while we are determined the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer a full refund for all the gamers who have purchased the game for PlayStation 5 or PC. If you purchase the game for PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. Customers who purchased other digital storefronts will also be refunded. More information about the refunds from Steam and Epic can be found below. And as such, they get into the Steam store, so, and then they get into the Epic Games store, you can read for yourself, and other retailer refunds. Once refunded players will no longer have the access to the game, we'll keep you updated, and thank you again for all the free gunners who have joined us in Concord Galaxy. My goodness, just like that. And wait, 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 they don't even explain the situation, what's gonna happen next? That is such an odd move, in the way there's just like no resolution. That's odd. Just to think about that as well, the launch day actually saw of around 700 concurrent players on Steam and there were some reports that the game sold around 25,000 copies for PlayStation 5. That really is a very low number, especially knowing the fact how much Sony puts in and how much funds that they have to put into their games. It's definitely this game would have been around more, well, maybe a hundred million. <laughs> and on top of that, this game Concord was in the development for eight years. My goodness. You know, honestly, I don't quite understand why they did not just delay it or cancel it outright before even releasing this game. What was the decision there? Now, I can understand why they even made the decision to outright just stop with this game because, you know, keeping the service up and running means that they're just gonna lose more funds this way because nobody's buying this game, nobody wants to play it. This game came out too late. That's the biggest issue. This game should have been released at like fucking hell, five years before, maybe even more than that. And now that the game was in the development for so super, super long time, yeah, people moved on. People want to, to experience new things. And it just also makes it kind of interesting with the PlayStation's directions now is going to be. Like, what is it? Like, what is the direction in terms of the marathon? What is the direction with fair games? Like, I really don't see much of future with these titles either. And if they're going to make the same decision as they have done with Concord, well, that's going to really paint a very bad picture and a bad reputation for PlayStation. And hopefully they will learn from this mistake and just literally delay the game again and and again if you have to but at least keep up with the trend that's what really matters nowadays if if you're going to uh, make multiplayer games and nowadays it's not actually battle royale it's not that it's not hero shooter what currently is on my understanding what is really popular it is an extraction shooter so I don't know how I feel if they will be able to pull all the plugs of everything that they've been working on and just like that go and make extraction shooter because I did hear Marathon was initially an extraction shooter and then it wasn't and then it is it's odd and the same case with fair games I believe that is that even an extraction shooter there's so many things in question and so many things in the cloud that we don't know what is even going on what's the direction they're gonna go with this is why, and it's funny enough, it actually is safer to create single-player games. Because single-player games and the stories that they tell 
are forever. You can't make these, you know, story telling games outdated because stories never become outdated and this is why it's a lot safer by the looks of things for playstation to continue putting all of their funds and development and resources and manpower into single player titles because multiplayer you have to constantly go after trend but if you cannot make these games quickly enough because you know how playstation likes to go about developing their games and their studios they take a long long time eight years just to make concord what were they even doing because i don't believe that it took eight years to make concord now i did hear some rumors saying that concord at least you know the firework studios were actually making something else instead and then they were like a long time in the pre-development stages as well planning and all of that but nevertheless i think that eight years should never be made in any sort of a video game especially if it's a multiplayer because you need to put that much amount of time into a single player component into single player titles in fact eight years would have been enough for them to make something like witcher 3 cyberpunk 2077 fuck maybe even the next grant of toro for just for specifically for playstation okay maybe that's a little bit too ambitious especially considering the size of the team and stuff like that but still it's just the weird decisions like actually now that i think about it Wait, don't Concord have actually like some studio from Bungie, right? I think so. Like they have a lot of developers from Bungie, and they could have made the next Destiny or something similar to it. Now, it, perhaps that's their direction was initially, and that's why they kind of went with Concord because you can clearly see there were some things taken from PVE side of things in Concord and implemented into PVP side of this instead. And maybe they had to do some shortcuts, they had to cut them some stuff, maybe they were had not enough time, maybe they were in a development hell. Now here's the question regarding fair games. Majority of the developers in fair games, it's just they're a lot more known of creating games single player titles, such as like Assassin's Creed, because a lot of the developers made Assassin's Creed games and they're in fair game studio. And now what are they doing? They're making a multiplayer game. What? Like, oh. There's just so many things in the air and we do not know what in the world is even going to be going on from now on within PlayStation. Bungie on top of that isn't exactly a good investment was made either. Just for specifically, they made the investment for purposes of finding out what could be for the future of PlayStation in terms of the multiplayer titles and give them some guide, right? And look, <laughs> Bungie is the ones in the shithole. <sighs> My God. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a chat for today. What an... In wow. Wow. The times that we're living in, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Like and subscribe again. See you guys all, and have a wonderful day.